I'm gonna start by priming my face using the Clarence um, Beauty Flash Bomb because my skin has been very dry recently and I really need it to have moisture so that we can give this a fair judgment. I'm gonna use my mirror here. Laura Mercier, I also picked up um, their foundations, um, a couple of shades. Um, as you can see, that's not my shade. The middle one's not quite my shade, but I'd rather be darker than lighter. And this is not my shade either. But they didn't have my shade um, in those colors. So I'm going to use their Silk Cream called Off Traffic. I'll Google it later. But that's going to be the foundation I use um, because I feel like I'd rather just use um, their foundation for this review. As you can see, it's a very dark shade. Probably, <laughs> definitely not my shade, but like I said before, I'd rather be darker than lighter. So I'm going to go in and pop that on and use my Beauty Blender. Okay, I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to highlight. I'm not gonna do the full, full, full big time highlight. I'm just going to highlight regularly, like, let's see. This is the Laura Mercier one in medium deep. This is the new shade they brought in. And this is their normal translucent powder. So let's see what that is. So these, this is what they look like. And I'll open it so you can have a look on the inside. Up to the camera, you guys can see. So what I'm gonna do is half my face is going to be using the regular translucent powder and half of it is going to be using the medium, medium deep. So medium going on this side.
and I'm using the other side of my Beauty Blender to apply the translucent one. So you've got the dark one on this side, the light one on this side. I just have to take an image for my thumbnail and then I'll come back. And now we're gonna go in on the brown area and wipe off the excess as I normally would if I bait. So there we go, under the eye. Removing that excess. And I'm using the Inglot um, 36 BJF brush because it's so soft. It just removes everything. I love it. I'm going to go in on the other side and remove that as well. Uh oh. Houston, we don't have a problem. Uh huh. Can you guys see a difference? There's a clear, clear difference. I'm just going to brush it off a little bit more. Now to go to my contour, I'm gonna contour my face as I normally do. I'm going to go in with the darkest shade to do my contour because I already used a foundation that was dark. Now I'm going to use my Sasha blush palette and I'm going to go with the dark purple one because I love how the colour shows up. So, and it's so pigmented as well. And now I'm going to highlight using the highlighter shade in the Sasha palette on the tip of my cheeks. decide for yourself what side you think looks more natural in comparison to each other because I have a clear favorite I mean if I am looking for a natural look I'd probably go more for the brown shade but if I'm going for a full-on really highlighted look I probably would use the clear one so if you're darker than me maybe like a couple or two shades darker or even more, then I think you can use the brown one to highlight. You don't necessarily have to go with the white translucent powder because you might end up looking gray. And this looks natural on my skin tone and maybe a shade lighter. But if you're looking for a popping, popping, popping um, sort of a highlight, then I would definitely go with the white one. That's my verdict. And you can see for yourself on my face, you know, which side you do, you do like. I'm gonna come closer to the camera so you can see. So as you can see. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. Have you tried it and like it? 
Have you tried it and hated it? I wanna know what your thoughts are. And if you've watched this video and you found it helpful and you found my channel to your liking, then don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and you will be notified every single Sunday when I release a new video. So don't forget to thumbs up and as I said before, leave me a comment in the description bar below. In the next couple of weeks, you will see both a house tour as well as my review of Fenty Beauty as well. I've just placed my order today and I'm waiting for all the products to arrive so that I can give you guys a first hand look at, on my skin tone anyway. But furthermore, there will be more products and new products that have come into the market in Scandinavia that I want to share with you guys. So the next couple of reviews are gonna be home decor as well as beauty related. And I hope you like them because I love making videos for you guys. And thank you so much for everyone who watches and takes their time to actually comment below. I really appreciate you guys. And every single comment makes me so happy and I reply to every single person that comments. So thank you very much. And wherever in the world you are, I hope you have a lovely day. Mwah. So as you know, I'll be moving house and I just got to see the building for the first time and you guys get to see it with me. Ah! So you come in and this is the this is going to be my studio and this is where you hang all of your clothing and stuff like that. And then in here is going to be my new YouTube studio. It's literally